Hello, today we are going to present you another financial model, which is right here. This financial model is for those business who provide their products and services in riding taxi cab for their customers. This financial model helps to work more efficiently in financial transactions and financial management. The Org Business Consultant provides financial model for your business to fulfill your financial and business needs. It contains financial statements and includes profit and loss on a monthly and yearly basis, balance sheet statements, cash flow statements, and some relevant information which allow the business to get more deep analysis of their financial model. Starting with input sheet. The input sheet is the key area where you can add business specific information. As you can see, the key highlighted area can be changeable according to your financial plan. It includes investment, loan, taxes, growth, starting month, cost of goods sold, revenue assumptions, employee payroll, capital expenditure, operating expenses, accounts payable in days, and account receivables in days. Moving on, paid marketing. The paid marketing is all about your digital marketing budget. It includes district-wise, sub-district, total population, Google Ads campaign, Instagram paid, number of customer from Instagram, and some other relevant information. As you can see, the highlighted area can be changed according to your financial plan. Impression percent on population is 35%. I'm going to change it to 50%. As you can see, the whole data has changed according to the impression percentage and population. Percentage download expected is 20% here. I'm going to change it to 30%. As you can see, the data has changed according to my key inputs. Cost per Facebook plug is 0.04. I'm going to change it to 5. It has changed all the data according to my assumptions. You can change according to your assumptions. Moving on, user analysis. It mentioned about number of customers, paid marketing on monthly basis, organic customer, word of mouth, and referral customers, and total number of customers. As you can see, the key highlighted area can be changeable according to your financial plan. Customer use referral is 20% here. I'm going to change it to 45%. As you can see, according to customer use referral percentage, the whole data has changed according to my financial plan. Moving on, revenue analysis. It provides on monthly basis and mention about user acquired, number of customers, customer acquired per month, average, revenue, baseline fees, total revenue from right, commission earned, application cost, and the total cost of sale. The total driver required is 30 here. I'm going to change to 50. As you can see, each month data has changed according to my total drivers required. Average right per customer stand here, I'm going to replace it to 20. And generate is 5%, I'm going to change it to 8%. And the uh, recurring customers is 15% here. I'm going to change 20%. As you can see, the whole data has changed according to my assumptions. You can change according to your financial plan and your assumptions. The CAC CLV analysis on monthly basis. It includes the total revenue, user acquired, commission earned, total revenue, net operating income, fixed operating expenses, and some other relevant information. The key highlighted area can be changeable according to your financial plan. Moving on, startup cost. The startup cost and its summary mention about the total funding and total expenses, and the graphical representation of total cost and utilization of funds also provided in this model. Moving on, fixed asset detail. It mentioned about your fixed asset and, and includes the amount purchasement of your fixed asset, 
useful life salvage value, useful life months, and first year assets. And it can be changed according to your detail. Moving on, depreciation and amortization. It's provided on monthly and yearly basis. It will help you to evaluate your depreciation expense. Moving on, loan schedule. It mentioned about your obligations on monthly basis. And it includes amount, month, term in month, monthly rep uh, repayments, and interest rate. As you can see, the highlighted area can be changed according to your plan. I'm going to change to loan one amount, 1,000 to 2,000. The whole data has changed according to my assumptions. Moving on to monthly profit and loss statement. The monthly profit and loss statement mentioned about the revenue, gross profit, operating expenses, net income before and after tax. The yearly income statement on monthly basis also includes the profitability analysis graphical representation, which will help you to analyze your income statement. Moving on, cash flow statement. The cash flow statement mentioned about the operations, investing activity, and financing activity. It also shows the inflows and outflows of cash in your business on monthly and yearly basis. Balance sheet. Balance sheet statement, it's all about, shows the financial position of your company on monthly and yearly basis. It includes assets, liability, equity, and asset calculations and graphical representation of your asset and liability, which will help you to analyze your model. Moving on, dashboard. The dashboard is really helpful to analyze your financial position and your financial statements. It mentioned about IRR, which is internal rate of return, share in equity, net present value, and some other relevant information, which will help you to analyze your financial statement more detail. Moving on, project evaluation. It mentioned about cost of capital, which is 10% here, investment required investment, expected growth after five years, company valuation, percentage offered to investor, investor required future value and equity, Earn rate and minimum investment required. As you can see, the key highlight area can be changed according to your percentages. I'm going to change to 20%. As you can see, all my data has changed according to my assumptions. Moving on, break even analysis. It shows the revenue need to meet the break even point. It includes fixed cost, variable cost, break even sale monthly fixed cost, minimum monthly break-even, and revenue of each month. The graphical representation of break-even analysis also provided. Moving on, diagnostic tool. It mentioned about gross margin as percentage of sale, operating expenses, profitability, profitability as percentage of sale, cash flow, and break-even analysis do sale exceed break-even. And graphical representation of diagnostic tool profitability matrix, which will help you analyze your findings and your statements. This is end of the video. Thanks for watching.